Hello world, this is uh, Kalma, uh, and uh, I'm actually on my way to church this morning, and I figured, how many people don't know how to tie a tie, so why don't I make a video on teaching you how to tie a tie? You know, I know you guys are probably thinking like, dang, I mean, we've seen like 50,000 videos on how to tie a tie, but how many have you seen by a young African, black African, Zambian, doesn't matter, I, was, I just had to add that just because everybody does it, but... No, really, though. This morning, I figured, you know, there's so many people out there that don't know how to tie ties, you know, whether it's a dance, for church, an interview, it doesn't matter what. A lot of people don't know how to tie ties, and I figured, why don't I make a helpful video on how to tie a tie? You know, it might be helpful, it might not be helpful, but I figured I might as well do it. It's like 50,000 of these videos, but I guess I'm going to make my version of this video. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need, first of all, first and foremost, is a button-up. I know this is really not a great button up, so don't make fun of me. But, okay. Gotta have a button up first, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Button up. Okay. Gotta have a tie, too. And obviously, you can't just, you gotta tie all these up to the top. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. First step you pop your collars. Grab your tie. You got two sides of the ties. You got two ends. You got the fat end, and you got the skinny end. However you look at it, take the take the whole tie, lay it down here. Uh, you stretch the right side down a little bit. About for me, I'd say about six inches, twelve inches, whatever. Well, technically, I'm pretty short, so I say six inches for me. Right there, like that. <clears throat> you know, if it's somebody taller, it might be longer or whatever. You know, yeah, whatever. But and it's pretty helpful because. Most modern ties and most ties in general have a, a seam right there. You could see it's a little line. It shows you where to lay this down. So you grab this and you lay it right there. And you can see the little line right there. So I match it up with this side because I'm pretty short. So like I said, long side on the right side, short side on the left side. Long side, short side. Now you take it, lay it down like that, tuck it in, inside. Okay, there you go. That's the first wrap, right? And then you wrap around the back now. Go through the back. Then you go in here. So, now you got this little V looking thing. So, it's not really a V, it's kind of out of shape for me. Well, you get it. I'll do it one more time. And you wrap the front part. You hold that right there. And you leave a little pocket space in there. See that? And you go in there like that. Pull this out. And it's forming. Yep. It's pretty big Windsor knot right there. I made a real, real big Windsor knot. So that was supposed to be that big. But, well, that was pretty quick, pretty big. Too huge, but hey, whatever. Yep, so we got that pretty much down part. Now I think you guys figured that out. Yep, you drop the collar. Okay. Fix that up. It's pretty fat knot. Really fat knot. I didn't mean to make it so fat, but yeah. You get it. And uh, that's a Windsor knot, by the way, in case you was wondering what kind of knot we just made. Sorry, excuse my bad grammar. Just in case you were wondering what kind of knot we just made, that was a Windsor knot. And oh, we will remake this. It's a pretty bad knot. It's not my best. It's a pretty bad knot. I made that too big, too huge. But just a quick how-to. Let's check it on. There you have it. You're pretty much ready for your interview or whatever you want to call it, interview. Whatever it is, and there you go. There you have it. Wins or not, how to tie a tie. Subscribe 899.com.